we only because had they polygamy. Do. So polygamy, we could look that up, but yes, marriage to love several language at the same time. polygamy. Is married to, married to several spouses at the same time. It says marriage. It's not going marriage like, to the to several spouses at the same time. Same yeah, time. That's, that's that's why they don't allow it because they're married. You know. Right, because they're married. Okay. Yeah. They, it's against the law. It, yeah. it's, but in a marriage, if the wife commits and says she agrees to polyamory then they do it still. So what we have here is... So they won't they will put it as a cheating? No, because it's a different... Because they agree on it. Because there's a TV show called Sister Wives. It's a different mindset. Same time. It's This polygamy is one thing. Poly amorous. Is a different mindset. So, what does this have to do with love languages? Because some people feel secure with more than one person. All right. And back in the day, men married more than one woman anyway. That's history. So, when oh, yeah. we fast forward, what we find is people recreating what they want in relationships. And also, some of it can be driven from what they read in history. They could be from other countries as well. Back in the day, oh, they, they, too. Yeah. Did, but they could be... Back in the day, they they, uh, mm-hmm. they didn't care if they were committing for polygamy. Back there was no it, such word back in the day. No, because it meant... Oh, no, no, I mean, like my grandfather, my mom's mother, and then um, then he, mar- he married the, the other wife that had already two children. So those are like my um, my half tias, right? Right. Because they're not from the same mother. Right. So here, right, that's what they say. So here, what we want to know is, this is someone's love language, polygamy or polyamorous. That's somebody's. Now, the difference in yours and hers is, is that you don't want to do it. So... Mm you wouldn't earn or give into that type of relationship because you want a committed relationship, possibly. You want a relationship yeah, that's in that agreement on... Like old-fashioned. Right. Well, monogamous. They, they, they used to monogamous. tell me all the time, no, a man should get married only once. Mm-hmm. Because they're more married. The only way they, they can be, you know, they can divorce is when they die. Mm-hmm. That's what they used to tell me. Because some they just do believe in that still. Like the Mormons. Right. So, now, here, these type of loves are um, spoken against. You, you guys even said, no, I don't want to do it. The thoughts behind it is that that's not what you want, so you find a mate that agrees on the commitment that you're looking for, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the biggest problems with relationships right now is that people get married predicated on marriage. But they don't identify with um, our goals, what we want to do. Are we going to go the long haul? They only get into those relationships in most cases because they like having sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. They just like to have sex with different women. Right. So but then they, they might spread that disease. The diseases come when people commit and they are... That's when a, a they woman, have more than one a, a partner without staying in the confines of the polyamorous or the polygamy type of situation. So polygamy is now is illegal. Let me just say that. That's where in America you marry more than one person. This yeah, is yeah. illegal. So polyamorous is a way that it's been reconstructed where you do. You could get married and you guys could have other people in a relationship if you commit to it. Yeah. There's no other marriage. Because, though. um, mm-hmm. so if here, you watch a TV show called, um, so, so here, like, I'm sorry. Right. So here, the thing that you want to get to is your commitment and what you want out of the relationship with the person, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the commitment is what's important. Uh, because then you can see that you agree on the same things. You agree, mm. you agree to come into 
a building, you agree to go to work, you do it with the people uh, because you made a commitment and you agree on it. Miss Denise? Uh, the TV show called Sister Wives, uh, TLC. This man is married to four women. Yeah. And, and they are married, they have children and everything else. And the moment some the people are okay with this, some people are not. Right. So here again, exactly. You see, what, if what, you, what, what was that? you commit, she's she's giving a variation of what we're talking about with the people. Oh, so here, okay. if you commit, then there's an agreement also that you're going to go to long haul with a monogamous relationship, which is love language, or if it's going to be another type of relationship, right? Monogamous meaning what? Two people. Two this people, is four. right? This that is are four. committed to each no, other. No, I said two. Oh, monogamous. Two so this goes a little bit further, but you're monogamous. You want a a regular type of marriage, yeah, what we've seen. Now, I don't want to offend anybody, but the thing here is, in a love language, is commitment, commitment, and agreement. Why? Because you can get a wife that changes her mind in the middle of your relationship. That's yeah. where the problems come in. So here, in our discussions, we want to know that we can actually get a commitment that's based on what we want, not what they want, because if we have mental health challenges or substance abuse challenges, that's going to do what? Okay. It can do what? It can split you up, but it can also cause relapse. Because most people will love and think that it's going that way and somebody else might be going astray. It gets to the heart now. Yeah. Okay.